Hey guys, Brian Bray here. I thought I'd share this ultimate fuel performance guys with everyone. Uh, we get a, seem to get a lot of questions in the uh, DCS um, Eagle Dynamics Discord chat around uh, what settings make the biggest difference um, in terms of FPS um, and VR. So uh, also on um, VR for DCS Discord as well. So and just on Reddit in general, uh, people getting new headsets, looking to to know, look, will my system run this? Um, on what settings can I expect to run it, and so on. Um, although it's not going to answer all of those questions, it will give you a very detailed breakdown into uh, each individual setting um, and its uh, sub settings, so you know, uh, high, medium, low, or off, for example, um, and what difference you can expect to get um, in terms of FPS uh, on your VR headset. So, um, this was done on, uh, I obviously had a, a base mission that I kind of did up for this and um, very kind of heavy on the on, on the system um, just to give a worst case scenario. Uh, so you'll see in a minute there's, there's a heavy overcast, rain, um, th there's an airfield which is the, the RAF uh, Sukumi mod uh, which you'll see on DCS user files and I'll share that link in the description. Um, but yeah, you, you'll see like, you know, a littered airfield, um, lots of high polygon aircraft, not the kind of standard ones, um, just to really uh, get, you know, uh, the best results I can here. And uh, as I said, I did spend pretty much all day Saturday doing this just to see um, if I was doing it properly. I did a couple of takes and um, obviously there was a couple of vari variations and variables with um, FPS and uh, it just not, not what I expected. So um, I'll share what my findings and hopefully um, this will uh, save you guys a lot of time in um, not just tuning DCS if you get um, you know if it's your first time playing but if you to change your GPU or CPU um, or upgrade your system entirely um, it'll give you a good kind of idea as to um, what settings uh, and, and, their, and do what on their impact so let's kind of move on so this is the chart um, Details all the major settings that we would find will impact your, you know, FPS or would would have thought so, would have thought uh, might have impacted it. Um, so I'll just take you through it really quickly. I mean, if everyone can pause the video and you can see the the image, you know, if you want to refer back to it another time. But for the purpose of this video, I'll keep it as short as possible and uh, try not to bore everyone to death. So. Um, Civilian traffic here, right? Um, so you'll see a couple. As you take this as an example. So civilian traffic, if we keep going down, so uh, in visibility range, shadows, depth of field, um, MSAA, and, and so on. You'll see after each one of those, uh, it says external in brackets. What that means basically is the test um, or the FPS recorded for that particular setting test is uh, an, an external view. And the reason for that was I found there was a heavier impact um, for that particular setting on uh, in an external view, which is why I said I had to take do the take take a couple of takes for this, um, because the the FPS differences just weren't adding up for me in the cockpit for all the settings. You know, um, so obviously different settings are going to impact different things. So, um, and then you can see on the right hand side the corresponding um, setting, so high, medium, low, or off for civilian traffic. Um, visibility range extreme ultra high medium low and the differences between each of those settings so the baseline um, setting that I used for this obviously apart from the mission I already uh, mentioned was um, I'm using uh, DCS uh, world open beta 2.5.6 um, the latest update um, the VR in the graphical um, settings my preset was just the, the VR button so press the VR button and that will just load everything to whatever your settings were, were you know, the, the recommended VR settings. Um, and then obviously I have the VR Rain mod installed as well as the RAF Sukumi mod for Cox's map. Um, and all the links for, for all of that stuff is in the description. Um, in terms of the FPS, uh, FPS reporting, the monitoring tools I used was obviously the, the FPS uh, counter in DCS itself and FPS monitor. Um, the FPS I show here is, is the average FPS um, and I didn't just make record the FPS for you know load the mission and record the first kind of FPS I saw um, I what I did was I took a I let it run for you know obviously 
everything preloads into into memory and everything like that. Um, and I, so I made sure to kind of keep it running for twenty five to thirty seconds. Let 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 everything load in, let stuff happen, and then um, let kind of uh, frames normalize. And then I took my my average. Um, the DCS pixel density on my system was zero point eight, with a Steam Super Sampling setting of one hundred twenty nine percent. My Pi tool for me, I'm using the Pimax five uh, K plus headset, so this this may not refer to you. Um, if you're on Oculus, for example, but it will if you're on a, a, a Vive um, or any other kind of uh, headset such as a, a G1 or G2. Um, uh, but yeah, pixel, pixel density in Pi 2 was 1. Um, my Pi 2 motion smoothing was off. Um, the reason it's off is because I can maintain a, a steady 50 frames per second on the ground in a dense environment. Um, and I just prefer to have it off, just less artifacts and such. Um, my uh, field of view is set to normal, which I believe is 150 degrees. Um, fixed foveated rendering, which is... Um, God, I can't even remember off the top of my head what that is now. I'll have to uh, put that in the description later on when I find that. But um, it was closed, or I mean off, uh, in Pimax terms. And my hidden mask area, which is obviously the the, the, the image that's outside of your field of view in, the ma in your headset, I should say, uh, it was ticked, which, which means it's it wasn't rendered, so that does save a, a few resources. So, um, look, guys, uh, very quickly going through the kind of rest of the stuff. So you'll see there's different colors on this. Um, red meaning um, there's a big impact. Medium or orange meaning there's a medium impact. Yellow means there's feck all really, and off uh, obviously means the setting was off. So it was the highest uh, FPS I could get on my particular system. Now, by no means the are these going to be the frames and the frames differences you will see every system is different but it gives you a good guide um, and I have never seen anything like this I know there's a, a, a very very good Excel sheet online I can't remember the name of it and um, it details different settings for you know different headsets and different systems and, and it goes into a massive detail um, and it is absolutely amazing but um, in terms of um, you know what frames um, relate to what setting and their subsetting I haven't seen anything like that so um, hopefully this is useful and um, you can find a uh, base mission if you wanted to try this yourself and just kind of compare it against my own um, on DCS user files uh, put the link in the description there as you can see there so it's Hornet CAS uh, for the RAF uh, based on RAF Tsukumi and um, there's also a uh, video which uh, probably a lot of you haven't seen yet because I'm very new to YouTube obviously um, and it, it is uh, basically a VR settings guide. Um, it, it's it relates to all headsets, but it, it's primarily for uh, Pimax users. Anyone with a wide field of view headset uh, will find great benefit from it. And it's basically how to achieve a very smooth 50 frames per second without motion smoothing or reprojection on, um, just for that best experience. And um, bear in mind that is on the ground in a cluttered airfield, a uh, very detailed environment. So expect to see. Whatever you're, you know, for example, I'm running 90 hertz in my Pimax 5K Plus. So when I'm on the ground, I see a steady 49, 50 frames per second. When I'm in the air, I see 89, 90 frames per second, solid. Um, uh, no drops, as I said, no pre reprojection on, no smoothing, no nothing. So um, yeah, if you want, uh, if that sounds cool to you, check it out. Um, like, subscribe, help me out, guys. I'm, I'm trying to grow this channel, and um, obviously when we hit. Uh, 100 subscribers I'm going to do a giveaway and then I'll do another giveaway at 500 subscribers so um, appreciate the support and uh, take care